Have you been looking for a quality leather holster for your favorite semi-automatic pistol or your revolver? Then you don't need to look any further than the Galco Fletch High Ride Holster. These are high quality holsters manufactured in the United States by Galco. I've, known, I've owned a number of Galco's products and always have been happy with the finish, the fit, the feel, and the usefulness of Galco's products. This is a Galco Fletch High Ride Holster for the Glock 26. It'll also fit the Glock 40 caliber pistols, uh, whether that's the subcompact, or the compact, or the full-sized versions of those pistols. This is a Glock 26 that I have in it here. But just to show you that, I'll put a Glock 19 in it right there. Just do the snap shut, okay? Take any number of those holsters. So it's nice if you get a semi-automatic pistol holster from Galco. You can use the same holster for your family of pistols like the Glocks or the Smith & Wessons, the MMPs. Uh, this is a holster that I've owned for about three and a half years, and I have used it uh, for concealed carry as well as at the range, and I've been very happy with it. You can see here uh, the, the attention, the detail that Galco goes to double stitching all the way around. The quality and thickness of the leather is just excellent. Uh, I've, I've purchased a number of leather holsters from different companies and have always been uh, dissatisfied except for a couple of cases, and you guys will see those holsters coming up in the future, but I have never been unhappy with Galco's products, whether that has been little uh, stow and go holsters like this one here uh, for my Carpium 9, uh, that's just a, kind of a softer leather holster. The stitching again is very nice. The quality of the leather is very nice. Every time I purchase a product from Galco, I am impressed with the quality. Now, these aren't going to run cheap, okay? These are not going to be cheap holsters. You're going to pay about $80 for either one of these holsters, and, and Galco manufactures the uh, uh, high ride holster, the Fletch high ride holster, for a number of different semi automatic pistols and revolvers. So you can get on their website. I'll have a link to their website uh, below this video, and you can check out their holster finder and you can see if they make the, the Galco Fletch high ride holster for your firearm. Chances are they probably do. Uh, but the quality of the stitching, is just phenomenal. The fact that the, the leather is molded for your individual firearm uh, is just excellent and it makes for a really nice fit. One of the things I like about the Galco Fletch High Ride Holster is that it has two uh, points of contact for your belt to run through. So you run your belt through here and then again, which means that you probably have a belt loop somewhere in between here so the holster is not going to go back and forth very much. It's not going to have what I call a slap vector. There's not going to be a lot of movement because this is going to be pressed against your body. Your belt's going to retain it tightly to your body. And because of the two points of contact, it's not going to move back and forth very much. Maybe ever so slightly, but it will be basically where you want it. And that's one of the things that, that drew me to originally purchasing the Galco Fletch High Ride Holster. So I've used this one for about three and a half years. This holster here, uh, the one for my Smith & Wesson model 686P, this is a full-size 357 Magnum revolver. Uh, this holster here has gone with me on a number of trips into the Montanan wilderness on fly fishing trips. And it has had a, a little bit more use, you can see there, uh, but it has held up very, very well and is still very rigid. As you use a leather holster, it will lose a little bit of its rigidity, but the way that Galco double stitched, again, I mean, look at that. Precise stitching, very regular, very consistent with thick, thick uh, stitching there. They're not using some cheap uh, little thin stitching. The way that they've double stitched that has really helped this holster retain its rigidity, which means it's going to stay well on your belt. Again, having those two points of contact so it doesn't slide or flop uh, really makes this holster retain even a heavy pistol like the Smith & Wesson Model 686P very comfortably and has it right where you're going to need it. And, and I've carried this in bear country with 180 grain hard cast buffalo bore bullets in the Galco holster and I've always felt that this holster held it I held this, this pistol right where I needed it, where I could consistently uh, draw the firearm and use it if I needed to protect my life uh, from a charging wild creature. 
Again, I'm just going to point out the consistency and quality. Here you can see this uh, snap, okay, the thumb snap that, that's going to be there. Uh, the quality of the snap and the fact that they have reinforced this with a piece of metal so that uh, the thumb snap is going to come undone easily for you but it's going to also be right there when you need to re-snap it. It's just really nice. Their attention to detail here where they have left a hard plastic piece there so that the, uh, the back metal portion of the snap doesn't rub against your firearm. They have just, uh, Galco has just gone out of their way to produce quality gun leather. And that's what I really feel the Galco Fletch holster is, that it is quality gun leather. And it is uh, made in the United States. And I really love the fact that when I purchase a Galco product, I know it's made right here in the United States. If I have to pay a few more dollars because of that, I'm happy to support a company that's manufacturing products in the United States and at the quality level of Galco's products, particularly here, the Galco Fletch High Ride Holster. I would definitely recommend this holster to you. It is high quality and there is a lot of value in, this, uh, in these holsters. Uh, my, my goal here at the Gear Tester YouTube channel is to produce quality video reviews of shooting, camping, and survival gear. And I have a playlist up, if you like this video, entitled Gear Tester Approved Holsters. And I'll be putting this video along with a number of other videos that are already there and videos that are coming out consistently over the next couple months and years to come of quality holsters, of shooting, camping, and survival gear. Thank you so much for reviews and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester, signing off.